Tuesday, March 12th. It's, it's the day of the concert and it's 2.04 p.m. I need to leave by like 3. I'm going to DC today to go see Travis Scott. change my outfit but I am dressed and ready to go it's actually really nice outside right now but I'm on the way to get my friend I've never driven to DC before so this will be a first. so I guess the next time I vlog we'll either be on their way to DC in DC at the concert I'll be the stage so we'll see okay bye
like it is 6 26 and I just finished getting my hair done um yeah so now I'm going home and I think I'm gonna get some food so yeah so I don't know if this is on me but I thought I should film about like the concert and how it went and if I liked it because I didn't really film anything. Okay, so it is now Thursday. Yeah, and the concert was on Tuesday. So, first of all, I didn't film a lot that day just because driving, like, was crazy. So, I'll just, like, do a story time. So, I woke up Tuesday. You saw it happen. Like, I filmed um, myself getting ready and stuff. Well, but also, that morning, I actually went to work from, like, 9 to 1. Yeah, so I worked from 9 to 1, I came home, I took a shower, got ready, did my makeup and stuff, and then I went and picked up my friend Sage. Sage is the person I went to the Kendrick Lamar concert with last year, I'll link that vlog if you want to see it. But we went, so we drove to D.C., and driving to D.C. was literally insane. Like, there wasn't even traffic until we got into the city, but once we got in there, it was like traffic for a little bit, but like, just driving on the city streets because I booked a parking garage in the city and so it was really really close to the venue but like when we put it into maps like maps was like freaking out and it was like taking us like random places but we've like so <laughs> so we drive down in DC and we see the Capital One Arena right and we're like hey that's the arena so like the um parking garage must be really close to it so we like turn left like we're like on the street where the arena is so if this is the arena we turned down the street because we thought that that's what the maps was saying but it was actually saying the one before to turn at like the little intersection before so we were like where is it because like then it was like the then the phone was confused and maps didn't know where it was going and we were like oh my god like what the hell and we were like freaking out but like to try to get around to go back was terrible because turning left in the city I don't know if I sound like really stupid right now but like when you turn left in the city you can't <laughs> like because there's always people coming this way and it's they don't have the turns where it's just like where they don't have like the pointed turn where you can turn or like the yield sign like you have to yield but like there's people always coming because like it's always crowded and so you can't turn until the light's red and we didn't know that so we were just standing there we were just like sitting there for a while and we were like what the heck and then we finally saw other people turning we were like okay now we can turn it was insane so we get there we part and then we go to five guys and we get some food before we just sit and talk but it was a really nice drive up and like i didn't film because like i was just like talking to sage and like talking about life and school and stuff and it was like kind of nice to have like a private conversation with a friend that you haven't seen in a while so that's why I didn't really film but so the drive up was nice until we got into DC and then we were both just like so stressed and like so I definitely recommend if anyone lives in the DMV area and is going to a concert at Capital One to take the metro because that's what our parents both suggested but I didn't know if she wanted to do that she didn't know if I wanted to do that if I go to a concert in DC again I'm definitely taking the metro because that was stressful and then we left for the venue at probably like 7.08. We got there at like 7.15. And so we get there and like I was like confused about my tickets because I didn't know like how high it was. And like honestly I don't really care. So that didn't annoy me but I felt like bad. <laughs> like because I bought the tickets and like this is my first time like really organizing like going to a concert. Usually like another friend does it or like we do it together. So I felt bad but like honestly we finessed it. The tickets weren't that expensive so it was definitely worth it. It was, uh, the concert was uh, amazing like it was so good like I love Travis Scott so much it was just like a really good concert and his energy was like unmatchable like it was just like it was so good <laughs> and like the graphics like Sage kept on talking about the graphics because the graphics were amazing like it just looked so nice like it was just <sighs> I loved it it was a very good concert whenever I go to a concert I always fall more in love with the artist and I definitely did from this concert and I already really like Travis Scott it was so cool like seeing the roller coaster like go up and like people like that were on the floor get to, got to go on it and stuff and like he was so like active like he moved from the small stage to the big stage and then like they put the roller coaster that went in the middle and apparently like he usually rides it with like someone but he like picked someone to come up and the guy's girlfriend started crying 
and so he was like you can go on too and it was just like so nice of him and it was just i don't know i really enjoyed it it was a really good concert i would definitely see him again but i just want to let you know that i did love travis, travis scott's concert it was really good so yeah that's it <laughs> i don't know Ugh, i hope i don't look a mess i hate I, whenever i wear this shirt i look ugly like my face looks ugly so i know i'm not gonna wanna do this <laughs> Thank you.